Forrick and Double Espresso. Scratched is Damasio. Set. Sprinting away from the 1200 metre marker. Prince Crest, two off the left, began well. Here comes the rain as two off the right with the white blaze. Euphoric on the extreme right-hand side. Heroic Deed is just off him. And then comes final attempt, the red gear. Right-hand side, we find Mashari and Double Espresso. And Father's Frost is out of the race. Go man goes about four lengths off the leaders. As they move now towards the 700-metre region, Prince Crash on the left, and here comes the rain on the right, and then Heroic Deed, Mashari. Further back in the run at this stage as Double Espresso comes out. The extreme right-hand side is Euphoric, Mashari. Final attempt on the inside. Go Man Go is in an Heroic Deed. They're right across the track. Double Espresso on the outside, putting in a claim. Heroic Deed on the inside. Here comes the rain. Mashari, final attempt. Go Man Go on the inside. Double Espresso on the outside. And Go Man Go on the inside. These are the two. Heroic Deed needs some running room. Double Espresso on the outside is going to win it, though. Double Espresso from Go Man Go, Mashari and Prince Crash. Number nine ends up the toad favourite at 370. It's Garth Puller and Double Espresso, the Crusade. They win it for the Khalils, Pile, Puller and Angra by a length and a quarter. Second, number three, Go Man Go. Third, number six, Mashari. And then Prince Kresh. And Father Strost is just coming over the line now. Here comes the rain further back in the run. So the winner... And wins it well, two off the right-hand side. And that is Double Espresso under Jabu Jacobs, bred by Clifton Stud. And the Crusade goes on to record its third win from 19 outings. Two off the left is Heroic Deed, Prince Crash, Go Man Go. And you'll see that the winner, though, is on the right-hand side. It gets a bit tight towards the left-hand side, but the winner is Double Espresso. The ninth race was due off at 16.50. I uh, take it that there'll be a few minutes added on. If I get any info on that, I will inform you back to the studio. Well, after a bit of drama at the start, uh, the race has been run and won by number nine, Double Espresso. A very good-looking son of crusade, bred by Clifton Stud, Peter and Jenny Blythe. But before we get on to all of that, Sibon Gile is the gentleman that uh, works the hard hours with Double Espresso, and he's going to take home a 1,000 rand on behalf of Hollywood and behalf of Gold Circle. Well done to you, Sibon Gile. Enjoy the money. Congratulations. And Double Espresso looked fantastic in the ring. Well done. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. <laughs> Let's get Jabu in. Not for the first time today, for the second time, and one can't help but feel maybe even a third time. Well done. Tell us about the race. First of all, uh, you've got your supporters, yeah? But uh, the false start, how did it affect you and your horse? No, not too badly. I say he jumped out. Uh, when I asked him to come back, he came back quickly to me. But, yeah. I know some might say silly question because you've won the race, but the, uh, the, what I was wanting to find out is you've stated, you know, behind the gates, etc., because a false start can set everybody off. But won well this horse, and uh, yeah, he's a good-looking sort. He's going to give the owners some fun. Yes, sir. Um, I'd just like to say a big thank you to Mr. Puller. He said to me, I must just jump and just leave him where he's happy. He jumped, and I was just following just one horse, coming by the 600 when I pulled him out. And I just took my time on him. When I asked him, he just gave it to me and he ran to the line. London like Island in the last race, what are you expecting? You've had two winners, could it be three? Yes, sir. And I'd just like to say a big thank you to the owners, to my sponsors, Winning Form, to the KMI Rider Masters. Spot on, Jabu, well done. Your instruction was to jump. You didn't say jump twice, which is unfortunate these things happen. Wonderful looking specimen. We always uh, enjoy looking at him at the races. And uh, he's won and he's won well, and certainly giving you guys uh, some fun. Yeah, he's not a top horse, but he's an honest little horse, and he puts his best in most times. He's been beaten by the stable companion a few times. Yeah, he's, uh, he's done well, I must say. Um, he's owned by very nice people, Joe, Khalil, and Karen. Thank you very much for the support. Kevin's in Ukraine, Kevin Ungra. Well done, Kevin. And Daya and his son, Yuni, they are um, big supporters and friends of the stable. Um, and um, I'm very happy that they're all on board, and I'm, I'm happy that this horse come through and won his third race. 
Goth Bar Crusade out of Demi Tass, bred by Clifton, Peter and Jenny Blythe, just up the road here at Moy River. And uh, they're a stud farm that for many, many years have been turning out the winners, and uh, they seem to have bred another fair horse here, Double Espresso. Yeah, I've actually done quite well with their horses. I mean, uh, the brother won the other day uh, that I had, uh, Cafe Pacifica. So, yeah, they're doing nicely, and uh, thanks to them. And obviously thanks to uh, the guys back at home, Michael and Eric and uh, Bishop and uh, Wendy and uh, Kathy. Um, and then a big thanks to Hollywood, obviously, for their support. One more to come, Lundy Island. Uh, Jabu thinks uh, we can talk to him again. Do you agree? Are, are you uh, upbeat about your chances? Yeah, she's only had the three runs, and they've all been three reasonable runs. I think the thousand's a bit sharp for her. I think the 12 will suit her a bit better. She doesn't have the best of legs, but the track looks like it's running pretty clean, and it looks like it's in pretty good nick, so we're hopeful. As I said to Sheldon earlier on, not often a race meeting goes by that we don't talk. Keep the hits coming. Well done. Yeah, you just, uh, you know what it's like. It's, it's got its ups and downs. It's the same for everybody. And you just gotta, you just got to ride out the, t the tide. Thank you. Spot on, Goth. Goth Puller. Puts a lot into the game for all uh, that uh, know him, and he's happy to help. And here is Double Espresso. Well done to the whole team, the Khalils, the Pillays, and, of course, Kevin Ungra in Ukraine. Well done, everybody. Jabba Jacobs has won for the second time today. Nine, three, six, and two. There's one more to come. Could it be number 200 for Hollywood Syndicate? And uh, all the prize money will be distributed accordingly. Or could there be some, some others in the race that will spoil their party? And Lundy Island could well be one of them. See you just now.